clinical trials are a core component of Alfred Health Values. And the main reason being is they provide access to our patients to drugs and devices that they would otherwise not have access to. And it's a very exciting component of what we do here. My job as a scientist and a clinician is to take my science and other people's science and use it to improve the, uh, the treatment of my patients. And you, know, you need to work in a place where you can do both science and, and clinical medicine and there's few better places than here to do that. Our inpatient uh, neurology clinical trials unit is the only dedicated neuroscience clinical trial unit in the country that's embedded within a clinical neurology unit. What that means is we have the facilities and the staff to do a number of first in human studies uh, and first in disease studies. Alfred Health provides a really amazing setting to provide extra for the patient who is just perhaps not getting the same uh, recovery that they, they might with a new approach. Patients engaged in successful clinical trials have life-changing experiences. I mean, these are patients often with potentially terminal diseases or advanced diseases that often have had poor outcomes in the past. But this is now being rewritten. The paradigms are changing. Many of those clinical trials are the first time a potentially transformational new treatment will be given to a patient. We're currently doing a trial in patients with Rett syndrome, which is a neurodegenerative condition. Currently there is no specific treatment. Alana's been quite grossly affected. She's 24-7 care. She's got high complex medical needs and she's had over 200 hospital admissions. Alana's 25 years old now and I've sort of gone through with nothing that's come about really to help. When I got the invite to come in for the screening, I started getting a bit excited. Then finding out Alana was accepted and the first keb off the rank really worldwide, it's super exciting. You can imagine the gratitude of patients and their families when they're engaged in a successful trial which completely alters their future and outcome. It's a life-changing experience for them and for us really. Patients in clinical trials at the Alfred know there's a very important, rigorous and state-of-the-art process in ethics, in research governance, in the actual facilities. And that's really important for patients to know that their, their health and welfare and safety is always at the top of the list. A third of the trials that we do are what we call investigator initiated trials. So these are trials that are designed and driven by the clinician researchers here. So these are completely independent from pharma, asking questions which are usually more novel. It just brings some of the brightest minds to bear on the problem. So rather than just having a single entity thinking, how can I solve this? We now have a multitude of uh, very intelligent people who are thinking about it and coming up with novel ideas. We've recruited clinician researchers who have the wherewithal to develop trials and have got relationships at an international level with collaborators so they recognise what they can do. We need more clinical trials because it's not just the patients who are suffering now, it's the future generations of people. So we need new solutions and we need evidence for those new solutions and clinical trials provides exactly that.